Regenerative medicine is a field that focuses on developing advanced solutions to repair damaged and diseased organs. In our group, we're focusing on a whole series of different organs and tissues within the body. We try and mimic the composition of each individual tissue to develop solutions that can be used to repair that specific organ or damaged tissue. We're very fortunate here in RCSI that we have the benefit of working with clinicians who are the people at the coalface. And our own group then, we have bioengineers, we have material scientists, we have biochemists, we have pharmacists. So it's very much an interdisciplinary team coming together, bringing different skills to try and solve this complex problem. This is an example of one of the technologies we've developed. When this is applied to an injured tissue, it recruits the body's own cells and the composition of the matrix of the scaffold directs those cells to become tissue forming. They take up the body's own cells and help them to overcome the problem that's there. That technology has been very successful at healing small defects of our articular joints, of our ankle or of our knee. Now, funded by the European Research Council, we're starting to focus on much larger defects by combining cutting edge technologies like 3D bioprinting with gene therapy to be able to focus on much bigger injuries, such as an early stage osteoarthritis, which affects millions of patients around the world. We focus on the development of gene activated scaffolds we have successfully developed a gene-activated scaffold that was shown to enhance bone repair over a scaffold alone. Gene therapy has enormous potential to massively enhance the tissue engineering field by using our gene-activated scaffolds and delivering our genes using non-viral delivery vectors. We would hope that our biomaterials would integrate into the body with minimal side effects. To really make an impact on patients and on society, you need to work with companies. That way we can avail of the company's contacts, quality systems, their manufacturing systems, so that we're not trying to do it all in-house. And I think we're seeing more and more tangible examples of how engaging with industry can benefit translation of science.